Hello and welcome to the advent of automation, your personal 20-day guide to streamlining your BI workflow. This is day 18 of our series and in this video I show you a handy way of running Power BI data validations in Power Automate. Data validation is a crucial place in every report. But what if you need to cross-check reports from various sources? Well, with some clever automation, we can do that in Power Automate. With that said, let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of data, analytics and automation. If this is your first time around here, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss any of my tutorials. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. I was recently working on a project where I had to set up an automation like the one we will explore today. I needed to cross-check sales results from an operational report and a financial report before moving to the next steps of the automation. I was very pleased with the outcome of the flow, mainly because after a few iterations, it became relatively simple. Why today we won't cover steps before or after this data validation automation, you can easily enhance this with other business critical elements. Given that we are so far along in our learning journey, I thought now would be the perfect time to explain what I've done and how you can replicate something like this. Now, let's head over to my machine. For simplicity, I have a single Power BI report with two tables, one representing the operational report and the other representing the financial report. Let's assume the operational sales figures are updated daily, why the financial report only updates on the last day of the month, or rather all values are allocated to a single date, namely the last day of the month. In your scenario, there might be different levels of granularity or different source systems that triggers reporting from two separate Power BI semantic models. But that's not the focus for today. Right now, both tables show the exact same amount, $4,511 in sales. However, I want to check the difference between these two data sets, total sales values, and if the difference is greater than 5% in absolute terms, I want to flag it. Whether the flag means reaching out to a BIT member to investigate further or logging an incident report doesn't really matter. For now, let's assume someone from the business manually checks that the values match and I want to streamline that. Back to my machine. Heading over to Power Automate. Our starting point is a manual trigger. I want to run this flow whenever I click the test button. Next, I'll add the Power BI action to run a query against the dataset. I rename this action to Operational Sales and select the workspace and dataset. Then I'll write a simple DEX query. Since this query outputs JSON containing the column name and value, I'll limit the output to a single number. To do that, I'll add a compose action and peel off any unwanted bits from the JSON output. For that, I will add this expression. Let's quickly test this flow before adding the other side of the data validation. Great, now I have 4,511 as the result from the first query, which represents the operational sales. Next, I'll add a parallel branch to query the sales results from the financial table. This flow will look similar, but this time I will call the action financial sales. Just like with the operational sales query, the default output will be in JSON format with the headers and other unnecessary data. I'll add another compose step to limit the output to a single number. Now that we have the two branches of our data validation, it's time to add a calculation to check the difference between these two figures. I'll add another compose action. Under its settings, I reference the financial sales output action. This reconnects the two branches, allowing us to use dynamic content from both actions. Next, I'll add an expression to the inputs of this compose action to calculate the difference. Here is the expression. Depending on your setup, you might not need to convert integers to floats. However, since I want to validate the data when the absolute difference is less than 5%, I need to surface a few decimal places in the division. 
Once we calculate the sales difference, I'll add the final step, a condition. The condition will check if the sales difference is less than or equal to 1.05 and greater than or equal to 0 0.95. For the true branch, I'll add the compose action with the message, data validation was successful. For the false branch, the message will be, data validation wasn't successful. Let's run a few tests with different values from Power BI. As I mentioned earlier, this demo focuses on setting up the data validation between two values from the same report. However, it can easily be adapted to compare values from two completely different semantic models. You could also add further steps such as refreshing reports in the production environment only if the data validation is successful or sending invitations for a meeting with the finance and BI team members if the validation fails. The possibilities for extending this automation are endless. And with that, we've covered everything I planned for this demo. I hope you enjoyed this series and by the end of December, or whenever you complete the learning, you will have some great automation ideas to enhance your BI workflow. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below and I do my best to answer them quickly. Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, check out these tutorials to take your data, analytics, and automation journey to the next level. Until the next one, see ya!